What is going on, summoners? We're back here today with another champion deep dive. Today, we're talking about Negasonic Teenage Warhead. So, sit back and relax, cause it's time to get into it. Negasonic Teenage Warhead enters the contest full of atomic energy. All of her attacks deal energy damage and do not make contact with the opponent. Also, when performing a well-timed block, she inflicts a stun passive for two seconds. Her medium attacks inflict one incinerate passive if the opponent has less than five personal incinerates on them. Unless otherwise stated, these last for 14 seconds and max out at 40 stacks. Her heavy attack can be charged 5 seconds longer than normal, and the first hit inflicts a 50% potency incinerate vulnerability passive for 16 seconds. And her light attacks pause all personal incinerate and incinerate vulnerability passives for 1.5 seconds. Negasonic enters each fight with a precognition charge which allows her to evade an attack and counterattack inflicting a stun passive for 2 seconds. She has a 15% chance to evade medium and light attacks that make contact. But this won't happen if she's blocking. This evade chance is increased to 100% while charging a heavy attack and when the opponent counterattacks. Each time her evade activates or is prevented from activating, precognition goes on cooldown for 25 seconds. This also happens when she's knocked down or inflicted with a power burn, drain, or lock effect. But each time her opponent lands a critical hit, two seconds are removed from the cooldown. Additionally, against tech champions, precognition begins on cooldown. Furthermore, when fighting skill champions, the opponent's bleed, evade, and true effects suffer minus 100% ability accuracy. And precognition does not go on cooldown from evading a counterattack. Now, let's check out her special attacks. On the first hit of the special one, she refreshes all personal incinerates even if blocked. Also, each hit after the first inflicts one incinerate. With the special two, after the first hit, rapidly pressing block builds up to 16 dormant incinerates, which are inflicted on the final hit. If block is pressed fewer than five times, the final hit randomly inflicts between four and 12 incinerates. The Special 3 At the end of this attack, she inflicts her personal stun and incinerate vulnerability passives, as well as three incinerates, all with plus 50% duration. Now, let's check out her signature ability. When awakened, as an attacker, her evade counterattack inflicts up to three incinerates, and her personal incinerates are paused during her special attacks. Also, striker hits and counterattacks pause her incinerate and incinerate vulnerability as if they were light attacks. Additionally, as a defender, she starts each fight with up to 100% of a bar of power. Now, let's take her out for a spin in the champion rotation. To begin, perform a heavy attack to inflict your incinerate vulnerability. Then, use your mediums to stack on some incinerates. Your stun passive lasts for two seconds, so if you're quick, you can get in some extra hits. Use your light attacks to keep your passives paused as you make your way up to special two. And before launching, you can charge your heavy to evade and stack on three more incinerates. Launch your special two and mash the block button to stack on up to 16 more incinerates. From here, Keep them paused with your lights and refresh with your special one. And if the opponent isn't already melted, just keep launching your special one until they are. Now, keep in mind, 
All of her attacks are energy-based and non-contact. Also, all of her personal effects are passive. So, those pesky skill champs who punish debuffs and contact attacks with Purify and Thorns damage won't be too much of an issue for Negasonic. And hey, she has a 100% chance to evade an opponent's counterattack. And against skill champions, evading in this way won't trigger her precognition cooldown. She also reduces their bleed ability accuracy by 100%. So, if you're up against a skill opponent who consistently counterattacks and punishes you with bleeds, don't get too crazy, but don't be afraid to get a little cheesy. Thank you for watching this Champion Deep Dive for Negasonic Teenage Warhead. And hey, if you liked the video and want to see more, click subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you haven't already, join the official Marvel Contest of Champions Discord and come discuss. And remember, we'll see you in the Battle Realm!